Hello from Rice Creek. I'm Joe and we're gonna be making a fun paper salmon craft today. Make a little buddy looks like this. So all you'll need is one or two eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper, whatever color you like, a pencil, maybe a colored pencil or a crayon of some sort, some scissors, and then some tape and the stapler, either a tape or a stapler, or some glue, something just to hold the paper together. So first, take your first piece of paper and you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it like a triangle here, all right? So get a nice straight line, nice fold. And then we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut off this extra section right here. We don't want that. All right, now don't get rid of this though. You're gonna need it later. Just put it off to the side. All right, so you're gonna unfold here. Now you're gonna take each corner here and you're gonna fold it right in like this. Now, if you've ever made a paper airplane before, you might kind of know what I'm doing here. So fold each one in, just to the center. Give it a nice crease. All right, then you're gonna unfold, okay? Back into our square, and we're gonna fold, let it go back into that original triangle shape you had. Now we got another triangle here. And we're gonna mark about, just about an inch in from each side of the paper along this folded edge line here, all right? We don't wanna cut anywhere past either of those sides. Okay, now we're gonna cut the gills of the fish. So we're just gonna cut little lines, just about an inch apart, but not going past that folded line there. If you go past that folded line, you'll mess it up. So just, just like that. Just about an inch apart, doesn't have to be perfect. But again, make sure not to go past that folded line. One more, perfect. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, take our fish here, and we're gonna take these two small wings here, fold them in right on each other. That way we got a nice flat bottom, all right? So now take your tape, your stapler, however your, whatever type of adhesive you're using. So I'm just using little, little, folded in tapes here. All right, just two pieces of tape works perfect. And we're gonna fold it right down on there. All right, and then we got the body of the fish. It's starting to come together, as you can see here. Next, we're gonna cut off the pointy nose here. We wanna make them look a little more round, kind of like a fish. So kind of just pinch it like this and then take your scissors and just kind of cut a nice rounded edge on that. So, so look at that. There we go. Give it that scrap. All right, so we got our body. Now we've just add some fins. We can add a tongue, add a towel. So I got some templates here. All you got to do is draw a little, take your scrap here and uh, make a little, uh, kind of half circle tongue shape. You can make some fins, those are a little more pointy than the tongue. So just like that. And then cut those out. All right, so we got some fins and a tongue. So we can attach those now. But if you wanna add some, some color to your tongue, you know, make it look a little more tongue-like. Make some colors there. 
So again, we're just going to use some tape here. Just one little piece works and put it right inside there. That's a little tongue sticking out. Same thing for the fins. All right, so it's starting to come together now. Just missing a few more parts. So this is where your extra piece of paper might come in. So now you can make a little fin, so a little shape like this, or a towel fin. So kind of trace out a little kind of boomerang shape. And of course, if any of these parts you want to add some color to, if you have some colored pencils or some crayons, go for it. Make it nice and colorful, unique, however you'd like. So we'll just get some tape again. Put it right on the back there. That's yeah, starting to look like a fish. He's kind of missing something, though. How's he going to see where to go? we got to give him some eyes. If you've got some, like, googly eyes at home, use those. But otherwise, you can use that extra piece of paper you've got. Just kind of cut out some, draw some circles. That's probably a little bit too big. Yeah, so just cut out some nice small circles with your paper. If you've got different color paper, this might be a good, good way to use it. All right, and use your, your crayon or your colored pencil again. You can draw, make it look a little more eye-like. Little dot in the center there. Now this one you might want to use some glue for. I'm going to use some, just some normal glue here. Put these little eyes on there. There you go, you got your fish. Make sure to recycle all your excess paper and your scraps. And that's it.